to you. Well, I like the world of fantasy uh, because realism, uh, I think, is becoming boring. Uh, I think the real world is quite boring, too, really. And so it's, worlds of imagination are much more interesting to me. Um, and Zardoz belongs to the, that category of films that you've been describing, and we don't really have a, quite a word for it in, uh, in the, the, the French call it uh, a film fantastique, which is, doesn't mean the same thing as fan, fantasy film. I think that they're icon dream films. They're films that come out of the imagination. They're linked to the world of dreams. And some of them are nightmares, of course. Was all a joke. Well, I think uh, one of the nicest things you can do for people is to terrify them. <laughs> and uh, 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 I'd like to do that whenever I can. Mm -hmm. Although Zalos is not really uh, frightening, it's, it's much more, it frightens you only because it's another world. I think the world is, is very much like ours, but it's also different in ways that are very disturbing. How so? Well, it's, it's, the people I think are, I mean, it's, it's not a science fiction world. It's not a world of uh, technology. And I felt, and I, because I don't, I'm not really interested in, in, in science part of uh, science fiction because I think that, I think the future won't be scientific, won't be about hardware. So in Zardoz, the technology has been uh, totally, um, inverted it's now it's so integrated with human the human mind and the human brain and the human nervous system that you don't see things there aren't machines and press buttons and things right and no the, phasers the, the, or lasers that's right no, there's the, but there are uh, no quasars either <laughs> but just the uh, just the, uh, the the communicator ring there's a crystal mm -hmm. ring in which people communicate sort of mind to mind and uh, everything is there that they need so I think there's probably a more reasonable, more logical future than some others that we, we see. Is this a future to fear to you? Well, this is a fearful situation because these people are immortal. And not only are they immortal in Zardas, but they, 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 they don't have the option to die. Mm -hmm. Because having made themselves immortal, they're the custodians of, of knowledge. And therefore, it's, it's very important they survive. They, they, they no longer can reproduce, so they live on. And what they crave for, most of them, uh, is death. <laughs> Kill me too! Uh, Zardoz Godhead, let's get specific about some of the things. Um, how big was that? And how was it? Uh, how was it done? How was it done? You want me to spoil all the fun? Uh, yes. Well, <laughs> well it, it, it's after, it's, it's, it's after uh, Magritte, of course. Mm. Um, this great, you remember there's a, there's a Magritte picture of an enormous rock floating in the sky. Right. And so this, that was where the idea came from. And here, it's a, it's a, a mine is a bit different because it's a head mm -hmm. and with a terrifying visage, which flies through the sky. And I love this notion of something heavy like that, you know, that's able to fly in the sky. And of course, it immediately tells you that they know they've learned quite a bit more about gravity than we know. Right. Now, um, uh, how it was done was that it's done in a number of ways. And, and there are a number of heads of different sizes, according mm. to the shot. Ranging in yes, what size. And what was necessary. Um, and uh, well, it was a very, I'll tell you a funny story. When I went to, when I, the picture opened in Paris, where it was a great success, um, the uh, uh, the reviews were all very good. They were all everyone liked the picture, the critics, except for one critic of L'Humanité, the communist newspaper, who didn't, um, who was very nervous, and clearly there was something disturbing him. And eventually, uh, he asked me to go and see him at the office of L'Humanité, and I went along, and he said, um, you know, he said. Is that Karl Marx? Was <laughs> I said no. He said, "Was it? Are you sure it's not based on Karl Marx? Because it looks like him." Right. <clears throat> I said, "No, it's not." 
he said, well, and he was very embarrassed, and he said, would you mind um, putting it in writing? Uh, and he prepared this uh, <laughs> letter, which I... Mm, I, 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 you denied Karl Marx was, was God, God right? <laughs> 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 because he thought it was that perhaps it was an elaborate uh, uh, hoax on, <laughs> to make fun of uh, Marxism, and that um, I was going to, he was going to write a favorable review, review and then I would uh, then um, reveal that uh, what, it, what, what the truth was. And uh, that's how nervous those guys are, you know. Guinness. <laughs> is evil. The penis shoots seeds. I talked about films being a close to dream, and I think that most people dream either, either in black and white or in certain monochrome mm. colors. Color is somehow uh, a problem for me. I, 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 and I started with point blank of, of doing each scene in a separate color, only one color for each scene. And I've dealt with color in various ways. In, in, in Deliverance, for instance, the, the, the color was desaturated. It was sort of semi-black and white. And Zardoz actually is the most colorful film, I think, that I've made, because it's, it's, they're very pastel-y colors. It's, it's brilliantly photographed by Jeffrey Unsworth, who, who recently died. He was, a, he was a, one of the greatest cameramen of, of all time. And he had such um, a, a, a sensitivity to light. Uh, this is one of the film. One of his. This is one of his very favourite films because we did it uh, photographically. There's a great deal of experiment and a great deal of um, of, of pushing um, to the very limits of what you can get in terms of uh, of, 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 of colour. Kiss the bride. You did well. I will take the bride. The most well, important thing is to be consistent is to invent a world which is utterly consistent. People will accept anything providing it is consistent. Zardoz is not perhaps consistent enough in some respects, but if you make a world uh, and people can enter into it, I mean, that's what the, it's all about, really, isn't it? Right. It's entering into another world. And you have the pleasure of seeing this other world, and you also have the added pleasure of escaping this one.